Hello. Uh, today I'll explain how Sparrow Parse API integrates into Sparrow. And as example document, I'm using uh, uh, this one, as you can see here, uh, sample invoice. And then let's look into the code and under instructor agent, this uh, um, main entry function run pipeline. And then as uh, we execute the request, then we enter into the function, open configuration properties, and then we check for the validation options. And in case uh, if our request contains options tables and options unstructured or options markdown, then in this case, uh, Sparrow parse library will be invoked. Otherwise, if uh, those properties are not provided, then default LLM call will be executed to fetch values for all the fields from the request. Okay, in case we provide the options, what we do then uh, in the first place here, we pre-process PDF files, uh, PDF files, so we check how many pages are in PDF and uh, we split PDF by pages. And then uh, we're using this information and we enter in a loop and uh, for each page we uh, execute the logic, uh, we execute, we try to identify fields that were uh, specify it in, uh, in request and uh, try to extract data for those fields. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, in the first step we uh, split uh, the fields from the request into the fields that are, um, will be processed by LLM and other fields that will be processed by Sparrow Parse. And the ones that will be processed by LLM, I call them query fields and uh, others uh, uh, and the ones that will be processed by uh, by by the table uh, we have them over here uh, uh, filter we, we filter them let's see so first filter for the uh, f uh, query fields with uh, form and then uh, once this is done uh, we filter the rest uh, with mode table so those those fields that will be filtered with mode table will be processed by sparrow parse and the way how we can how we can recognize uh, uh, first type and second type is uh, of the fields is by by the type specified in the query. So if it's a basic like type like string, string or int, then uh, all those fields will be processed by LLM and other fields with a list, uh, all those fields will be processed by Sparrow Parse. So this is how the filtering works. Okay, so first, in the first step, we, uh, we, we got a list of fields that will be processed by LLM here. And then we enter in loop uh, based on how many pages uh, our document and then here we call execute Sparrow processor and this method uh, what it does it brings the content so it brings uh, uh, the whole content uh, extracted from the document whole text content and uh, it tables if any uh, tables were identified in document then uh, tables will be additionally included into the se second variable and execute Sparrow processor is under instructor helper it's here and then based uh, on the parameter that was specified in the query uh, uh, in the query we, we execute either unstructured or markdown so uh, different uh, different uh, classes are initialized from sparrow parse either unstructured processor or markdown processor those are in, uh, included from uh, sparrow parse library Okay, so we got the text, and then here we execute uh, uh, a LAMP call for the instructor to fetch uh, values for uh, the fields for the fields with simple types like int or string, like I mentioned before. And then uh, in the second part, we check if there were any tables ident identified. Then uh, we get uh, query targets and uh, uh, query types from from here uh, from this function and so we filter basically fields uh, based on 
uh, from the request based on a type. Uh, so all the fields with type list will be uh, extracted, uh, will be assigned to, to this variable. And here we get another uh, class from Sparrow Parse HTML extractor. And we call for the extractor, we call it a read data function. And we pass uh, the query targets and query fields, and uh, uh, we pass the page uh, uh, page uh, page content uh, itself, uh, like a uh, original uh, structure of the tables from where the data will be extracted. And then, in response, we get uh, answer, which is the JSON structure. And then we concatenate uh, in case if. Uh, uh, we have multiple pages, we concatenate uh, results into a single structure, and, and then at the end, result is being uh, returned uh, uh, to the caller. Uh, so to summarize, there are two main integrations uh, with Sparrow Parse. First one is to get raw text by executing uh, Sparrow Processor. So, and there, there can be many multiple uh, processors like uh, unstructured or markdown. Uh, and uh, then we get raw content and we got also content for the identified tables. And then uh, second integration is uh, when we extract tables. Uh, we call uh, HTML extractor from Sparrow Parse and we get uh, we read data directly from the table by the column names uh, identified uh, and matched with the field names. And field names uh, will be processed, those field names, uh, the ones assigned with list. Uh, there are cases when you want to extract maybe uh, array data not through Sparrow Parse but with LLM. In this case, uh, you would you need to specify not list type but array type. And all the fields with array type will be processed by uh, LLM call through instructor. Okay, and this is how the request looks like. We pass the field names, the ones that we want to process with Sparrow Parse will be uh, assigned type list. Then we specify, provide the document, provide the option tables unstructured. This means that we want to invoke Sparrow Parse to process tables uh, and we'll use unstructured to uh, extract uh, and pre-process data. Then we specify group by rows. This is the way how results uh, the JSON will be formatted. And then we have update targets. This parameter in case of uh, works in, in case there are multiple tables on the page, so uh, you can control uh, how you want to extract data, either from uh, both tables or maybe just from one. Okay, when this uh, query is executed, then in response, this is what we get. We get three uh, uh, fields. In this case, uh, not basically basic fields with uh, string type. Those are extracted with LLM, and collection is extracted with Sparrow Parse. So, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye.